It's a problem that people are ashamed of acknowledging. It's very humiliating. It's tiring. What are we going to do? This generation will live sicker and die younger than the parents' generation. Hunger is right here in the United States. And the problem is getting worse. The reason people are going hungry is not because of a shortage of food, it's because of poverty. One out of every two kids in the United States at some point will be on food assistance. I was one of those kids that was hungry. It messes with you. The average food stamp benefits $3 a day. There are people who are living on that, and you really can't. If you have a limited amount of money, you're going to spend it on the cheapest calories you can get, and that's processed foods. My dream is to go to college, but I can't tell my kids, I'll make sure you guys eat in two years. I'm struggling to even feed my kids every day. Put that in there. OK, that was a bad idea. As many as 50 million Americans rely on charitable food programs. I haven't received a pay raise in four years. And what I used to spend on a month in groceries now gets me about two weeks. It's amazing how the need has increased. Charity is a great thing, but it's not the way to end hunger. We're weakening our nation. But I don't really know what to do. It was a documentary in 1968 that put hunger on the national agenda. Regular Americans rose up and demanded a modern nutrition assistance safety net, which helped us almost end hunger entirely by the late 1970s. It showed that public policy could work. Political will could work to make a difference in our country. There's probably 600, 700 chefs here, all really committed to helping this problem that we have with childhood obesity and hunger. We're working to make sure that families have access to quality, affordable food. It's so good. There's a lot of education that needs to happen around what is healthy food. Give your ideas for change, for the healthy life of your kids. We all have a stake in this about patriotism, really. If another country was doing this to our kids, we would be at war. And it doesn't have to be that way.